AI in the supply chain realm. So when we're discussing the supply chain as we see it currently, you know, supply chain is heavily affected by COVID right now. So it's harder to get products and goods to move across borders, across oceans, all of the, even across state lines. Um, so when we think of EDI in the supply chain, we have to think of the, the overall supply chain. And what are we doing when we have EDI in the supply chain? The biggest hopes with EDI in the supply chain, and the biggest things that it is doing for us is it's speeding up knowledge. Knowledge of knowing where your product is, no, knowledge of noting, knowing when your product gets delivered, how much product is available, um, and all those different other factors. Is it on a truck? Is it in a plane? Is it on a boat? Um, again, those are all pieces of knowledge that we're learning by utilizing EDI. And we learn it a lot faster than a phone call or a fax or an email, if people fax anymore. Um, so as you go through, you start thinking of how do we speed up that knowledge? You know, people are putting into the supply chain uh, IOTs where we can track trucks and vans and local neighborhoods and all those different types of things. But if we break it down and we look at how does EDI make supply chain a little bit more efficient, which calculates into time, which also calculates into prof uh, profitability. So if we look at those different things, EDI in the supply chain is commonly known as, you know, 850s, 810s, 856s. So we're looking at purchase orders, uh, we're looking at invoices. We're looking at advanced ship notices. But then there's other documents. There's 846s, which are inventory advices. There's the 940, 945. So we're looking at shipping documents that are interacting with the warehouse. And then if you look at documents in the transportation or logistics realm, you're looking at 214s. You're looking at your 999s. You're looking at different documents that are flowing amongst that a uh, trucking facility or back to your supplier or back to your vendor. So EDI plays a huge role in the supply chain because it's movement of data and movement of information that gets things to where they need to be in a little bit faster, a little bit more knowledge, a little bit of being able to pivot. If you know that a document's taking longer because you can track the, the data of, hey, the, this product's taking longer to go from <clears throat> Hong Kong to the United States or from Canada to the United States or wherever it's going, coming from and going to, you take all that data and you can say, hey, we would be better off using this route. We would be better off if we see that this supplier is actually getting product to us faster. Let's look at what they're doing. Are they using a different carrier? Are they using a different method of getting those supplies to us? So all those things in the supply chain, what do they do? They improve customer experience. They make things a lot more efficient. They speed up the processing. They'll reduce errors because you don't have users entering in information or manipulating information as long as you can get it from your system in a successful manner. Guess what? EDI helps reduce those errors. They help taking care of those things. So what does that all equate to? That all equates to saving time and money, making things more uh, efficient, improving everybody's experience. And along with that, you also get improved inventory management. Um, so just think of EDI in the supply chain. It's doing all those factors, all those movements, yeah, they look to some people as just documents, but it's the data. The data in any business is going to help you to pivot, rebound, do things to be more efficient.